standing ovation, Strategic Innovative Initiatives. Welcome. We're in the business of making things talk. These are our customers. When they talk, they talk like this. If you don't listen to them, this is what happens. According to experts, 90% of all accidents are caused by metal fatigue. Metal fatigue is like cancer. It grows slowly. You don't see an external change until the last instant where it cracks and then fails. If only we would have a way of telling the age of metal. Now we have. We have a patented extraordinary sensor to sense the, the, the age of metal. It tells you in milestones. It raises a flag when you reach 10% of the life. It raises another flag when you reach 50%, and so on and so forth. There are so many people are trying to do the same thing. There are about 12 companies in the whole world trying to do something similar. But their sensor tells only one thing. It says, cracked. Whereas, our sensor can tell you the age in milestones. So there is a big difference. This is my team. Dr. Khalid is a, is a world-known expert in metal fatigue. And Simon is very good in, in marketing, his experience marketing. And we have a great team. We are solving the problem of huge market. Elevator, escalator, bridges, aviation, railroad, pipelines, marine, each one of them is multi-billion dollar market and we're solving a problem for them. Our traction is like this. Our thing is patented, it's a granted patent, and uh, our technology is declared as one of the top most 500 the te te deep talk technologies in the world and we already have received a POC with Eurotunnel trains. We know the, uh, we have several more uh, POCs lined up and we have, we know our cost manufacturers and uh, exit scenarios. Our revenue model is, is selling the sensor, a POC, uh, AMCs and data analytics. We need the investment for our new patents. We need to industrial grade our sensors, hire talent and uh, we're asking for one and a half million dollars for 25% equity. Thank you. Excellent. Judges, what questions do we have? Is, so is your product a connected strain gauge? No. Okay. It is a fatigue gauge. It actually, you don't, it doesn't need a battery to keep track of the age. But it is a, a, it's an interesting technology. Uh, which is you know, patented. And then do you have current revenue? And if so, how much is it growing? Uh, we were doing our first POC. We, we own a contract with the Eurotunnel, so we're just marketing. We're just get, getting into the market. When would you expect to have revenue? First year, end of revenue. Uh, so uh, end of uh, October this year, we should be getting some money. So on the, on the POCs, I want to drill down a bit more. You had quite a, a bunch of lists in there. Um, how close are you from being on site um, and showing them the use cases for some of these customers? Okay, so uh, Eurotunnel is expecting new wagons, so we'll be installing them on the new wagons. So they're expecting them in, in September, so uh, we should be installing them by then. And what, so sort of, what sort of pilot, like how many... Uh, how many how much infrastructure, how many devices are they expecting? Them? Okay, so we, we categorize POCs into small, medium, and large. Small ones, we always start with small ones, but it takes about 300 sensors. It's in terms of train, say four wagons, and then you go into medium one, which put in the whole train, and then to the whole fleet, which is the large one. And after you've put in the sensors, do you have uh, sort of um, uh, maintenance, uh, training uh, and sort of uh, follow-up? Yes, data analytics. We have to fetch the data and analyze the data and, and, and inform the customer about uh, how things are going. Um, just real quick, and I, I apologize if I missed this in your, in your deck, but what does your competitive set look like? Who do you consider your competitors? Oh, the, the co competitors uh, coming all around the world. There's an Austra Australian company, there's a, there are, there's a US company, there is a Canadian company. Uh, so we have a bunch of them. 
Thank you. Back. Any additional questions? Yeah. Wh which vertical, industry vertical, do you think you'll uh, get revenue the fastest from? I, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, so of the industry verticals that you are um, pursuing oh. pilots in, like which is the one that is going to turn into actual paying customers the fastest, do you think? Okay, the quickest one seems to be the elevator and escalator because there is no competition there. So, and uh, the bridge, aging bridges seems to be the, the pressing market. They've been pushing us. Uh, Marine is another one. So this actually request is coming from our customers from the field. But the railroad was the first one to grab our attention. How, how many sensors, like on a bridge, uh, how many sensors do you need? Do you need 1,000 sensors? Do you about need 300. One? About In 300. In each size, 300 sensors, yes. And like, a, like an airplane? Like, like an, OK, so typically, the maintenance people know where the cracks are where the critical points are. We only put it in these critical points. So our customer leads us to the, to the right points. So typically, 300 for a, for a typical train, and uh, maybe 1,000 for an airplane. 